Okay, so I feel like this has to be made. This is uh, in reference to the video I just put out. The more you feel, the more you know, the more you know, the more you see, the more you feel. Should be more you. <laughs> I probably fucked it up. The more you feel. Yeah, because it's, it's all is based on feeling the way I the way I view this. The knowing, the feeling, the 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 knowing. This is a uh, about Michelle Brakeman um, and her work. Um, she's been she's been doing some pretty amazing things. Uh, when it's safe to do so, uh, either pause this and close your eyes, or later do that close your eyes and try to imagine things in your in your head try to imagine a face try to imagine anything try to imagine how does it form in your in your in your mind like right here i can see i can see a nose eyes a mouth uh and it's kind of shifting now They're, the eyes look old they look like they're big baggy eyes now it's uh nothing's really happening right now for me It's a beard. Imagine even a white beard. Now it's kind of morphing into a female features. It's a little, little less on the nose. And then you can look. There's a bigger. There's a bigger eyes here. A nose, mouth, and like a big beard. And each time you see this, you can you'll be able to see different things. It'll, different things will appear, um, will stand out to you. So the question was, when you close your eyes and you try to visualize a face, what does it look like? Is it something like this? Does it look like a real photograph or something, or does it look more like plasma, like light, just like little neon? It's almost neon kind of look. Now I can imagine something holding his hand up there, his head, ears. So this is all very nebulous, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> but, but this is what thoughts and possibilities are. Uh, so like right now, I don't even think I'm seeing this the right way. I don't think I've seen the face. Because uh, I remember it differently the last last time I saw it, a long time ago. But like I clearly see a guy's face. Look, look at the eyes there, nose, mouth, like a green face. This is not the one I wanted to show you actually. But uh, hopefully you'll find this interesting anyway to learn how to spot this type of thing as I try to find it. face and a wall but but the the idea still remains about try to think about something and what does that picture look like does it look like a regular photograph picture does it kind of look like this types of things you're seeing right here light shadow colors very simple basic things Here's the one. I don't know why I didn't get that before. What's going on now? Oh yeah, okay. So anyway, she's been she's been showing things. She's been be able to visualize in front of her 
and this is just energy it's the same as a plasma creature it's just simple control of energy now that that you can see eye there eyebrow nose almost a large smirk not a pleasant face to me as you watch this you'll be able to see um wow again there, there's the eye there's a there's an eyebrow or kind of a smaller eyebrow another eye nose being able to control energy control thought you can almost see like the eyes are like opening uh, there's like a just very slit you're looking through a slit right there in his eyes it looks like And it kind of it almost I don't know if it comes into focus or she imagines something different you can even see the, the eye right here the black and then the dot in the middle the eye here dot you may have to move your screen a little uh, it's pretty dependent on how you move the screen but uh, I'm sitting maybe it has to do with how far you sit back I'm 24 inches back from my laptop I think any closer it, it's not as easy to see here anyway maybe I'm getting short-sighted or whatever that's called but anyway so you can you can pretty much see that this shadow on a on a wall light on a wall uh, I'll read I'll read the description after I kind of finish talking here is forming into different shapes and different like thoughts like you have your thoughts now that was pretty cool I'm gonna go back no I went too far back so she's clearly see, to me it's clearly a guy's face and that may be something like I say maybe I'm just focusing on for whatever reason but Again, I can see I can see an eye there, a dot. You can see the whole eye. I mean, this is almost like a, if I could do a painting that good, I'd be doing pretty good. You kind of close the eye right there. The other eye still is open now. It's kind of closing now. It's shut. You can even see the ear right there. Now it's it kind of there's kind of an eerie looking one. It's kind of like a half reptilian, right? <laughs> and that's where she caught it too oh my god what the fuck she's so cute uh, so this is a person that's able to visualize energy and she's actually visualizing energy this is the way I look at it now it could be completely wrong this is just one point of view in this unlimited points of view so whatever I say it doesn't even matter you're just energy you don't even belong in the body uh, maybe this is our our punishments or something I don't know or, but is it actually might as well enjoy it whatever it is but uh so this is simply this is simply energy she's focusing this energy to create this thing and now she may think it's something else coming in and talking to her or whatever's visiting her watching her who knows it could be I don't know it's whatever you want it to be that's the whole thing about this reality this is an energy based reality and that if it's energy it's we are able to observe change feel uh, direct be part of it Can you, can you see it stay consistent I can even see the eye right there like I say I may you may have to shift your stuff but it's all I can almost even see a color on that I, I, I wonder how that would record but it's almost like a yellow color anyway it's hard to say but even as you look at this this picture can kind of come in and out of focus uh, the mouth is almost like down here kind of strange anyway this is still the reptilian look to it you want to have a picture of a reptilian? Maybe this is the. Maybe you can, if you want, if you want that to be a reptilian, it can be. The eye dot. Everything here, nose kind of a, the nose is kind of like like a, reptile nose. I would say. It's interesting. They get these. Uh, I've seen that before, and other shiners can do that. So, I forgot how good this is. This is a good video. So, this just kind of sets up. Okay, so that's that's her. 
her thing, and I believe this was with a face in the wall. The curtains, the floors, walls, all surfaces, all surfaces in my world of reality. Whoa, so I didn't know it was on everything. I thought it was just on the floor. Oh, drywall in my living room. Yeah, drywall, okay. So, yeah. Going back to her one this time, um, let me just say what I see when I look at it. I'm just going to put that up there. You can pause and read her comments about this. Hit pause. Hit pause. I thought she had great music to this too. I'm just seeing kind of like the outline of a horse, kind of the nose. This is not, this is this is like a little free flowing, but I think this is kind of a free flowing video. So this is not as distinct as the other one. The eyes. Watched with the face, but this I believe she said this was a curtain, too. This is a curtain that looks like a curtain, it looks like some kind of door, window knob, or something by a curtain. Uh, it's in the description. I'll let you look at it. Uh, this almost looks like a running, running deer, like in a, in a cave, cave art. Why am I being so imaginative? Because I, I'm, I'm saying there's a million different things. You, somebody can see something with this object right here, somebody can see. A flower or a tree or something right here somebody can see okay let's go further somebody can see like you're you're on the forest floor looking up and there's trees all around you I mean anyone can see anything they want so that's why again I'm just giving you what's coming in my head <laughs> and this is interesting because there's a lot of times these these um, they're almost like like letters okay like like an H in a way, but also if you look at the dark part, you can see other objects. Here's an X. Uh, and now kind of everything kind of gets X-y, like X was the dominant, whatever. Like everything's kind of getting X-y. Let's, let's watch throughout the video if that kind of happens again. And now it all kind of centers in here. But at the same time, I can see like a face right here. There's the nose. There's the eyes. This is like a cartoon figure face. Mouth. Uh, again, you'll be able to see lots of these little things. Like you can almost see this as a face. Like a big nose, mustache, mouth, eyes, hair. So like once you start looking for that, I really suggest start looking for other things. Because I'm kind of tired of seeing faces. But you'll be able to see him. But if I watch this another time, I would see something completely different. This is like a crook nose. Ears, hair. <laughs> Just pretty, the, yeah, the whole... We can say fabric and the light changed, but the whole texture of it changed. Oh yeah, you see now, see I completely forgot. This is from before. There's the nose, there's the mouth, there are the eyes. There's the eyes. Maybe you saw it before it came. It's like an anime type thing with like black hair. Uh, that's one way to look at it. Somebody may see a person right here. Somebody may see a person very clearly, like running through a field or a white, whatever. Uh, somebody could see something else. A cross, two crosses. Again, it's still there. It's still maintaining the nose, the mouth, the hair. Kind of like the hair. This is the, the ridge of the, of the cheekbone or whatever. Here's the going near the eye sockets. Uh, 
lost my sound. disappeared but but like literally like this face just disappears like like a perfect in a scene with a, the light slowly getting dimmer 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 until there's like no light at all and even has a little purple energy this is a purple color that I look for sometimes I see sometimes on some people it's very fun it's fun to see I don't, I don't know exactly what it means or what it's about, but usually channelers have purple around them. People that, that connect with other entities. Now, this is a face coming right back, a new face. Maybe it's kind of, it's tilted, it's turned anyway. Maybe eyes here, eyes here, mouth hair, almost like a hair over the eye. It's almost, I don't know, almost like a time lapse for a second. Now the, the title's getting in the way. It's frustrating. It almost looks like, like, a body there running, but then it looks like a whole bunch of little bodies. His arm here, here's another person, here's. Now that looks like it has depth. There's there's like a 3D effect to that. Going for seconds back. Now this is interesting because it starts making letters. I've seen those letters before. I've seen them form when I was on Skype one time. I saw the I saw them start to appear. Um, and I don't know, to me, that's, that's more than coincidental, but again, that's, that's from my mind, which means nothing to the average person. This looks like it could be a P or S or kind of an L shape. I don't know. I've seen those type of letters though before. You can't quite figure it out. But that's just like one way to look at it. You can, then other people will see shapes. They'll see it like a face right here. They'll see. Yeah, because I kind of got stuck with the letters. But when you look at that one aspect of it, you're not looking at anything else. It's kind of more of a five, five. There's the lottery numbers, folks. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's just uh, numbers, numbers got me for a little while. S, more S. T's, B's. Now I'm focusing on the lettering. But I'm missing the big picture. Let me say. S, F, 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 P. It's like, I don't know, my L, L, T, K. And now I'm missing all the other things that are being shown. So that looks like a face. There's eyes, like a, a pretty decent nose, and an ear. And it, and it kind of, these almost look like indented horns or something. I don't know. Anyway, it's not too pretty. This is not too pretty to me. It's gray. And this one looks like a, looks like a person too, maybe. Like eyes are partially closed. 
but that one looks open it's interesting because it looks closed and open this one looks open and I can always hit my windows plus and okay so now I just when I look down and I focused on something else and I came back now I'm seeing completely different stuff so that's maybe part of the key and that's why I thought this was important to um, to show I'm not sure if this is going to work here we go okay <clears throat> here we go so now I'm seeing completely different here here's an eye here's a nose here's he he has a mustache lips like a d'artagnan hair okay remember uh this is a lady uh then i can see almost like it's almost like a skull right there but as i'm going across you'll say stop stop there's something there something there I don't know how far I should go into this, <laughs> but but that could be like a cougar or something, ears, eyes, it could be like a, almost like a bunny rabbit. There's a couple of people that, that get this type of thing. that's why I wonder the value of actually sharing all this type of thing because I think most people won't get it and the ones that get it will get it uh, but I, I'd rather share than not share um, this is almost an eye I don't think she's much into the uh, occult stuff like I am you know finding out the information all the hidden stuff um, this is almost I was hoping it would be a swastika but it's um, it's close not close enough but um, Now that's that's frustrating, but there's an eye right there. Let's see if I can zoom. appeared there and one then one appeared there I don't know like I say those that's one of the things that I've thought about a lot and so I keep an eye out for it wink wink that could be a big alien skull I I knows you got your H you got your L L P's S's coloring is very interesting there red red and black together It's interesting how the yeah it starts to uh, make blocks makes connected blobs it gets darker and darker I 
just jumped really bad. Anyway, mouth, nose, eyes. Still see it right there. Still see the two eyes, the nose. See that face goes out and then comes back in. But I guess all this thing is there's so much information everywhere. Okay, so I just saw one thing and now I'm seeing another. I've seen a nose, eyes, mouth. Um Here's a clear five. I don't know how many curtains have five on them. But, uh, and I can take a second and I would see something else completely different too. So, I see a face right here. The kitty's throwing me off. Keep getting him food, but he won't eat. All right. So, uh, I can see face right here. It just is like a big bull head. Eyes, kind of a one of those noses, pug nose, and then even on that pug nose, I can see a laughing face, like a nose, eyes, a mouth smile. Anyway, that's why I say don't try not to focus too much on the faces because once you start seeing faces, you see them everywhere. When you start to look for the two eyes, then the, then the faces start to really pop out. Um, Two eyes, nose, mouth, and and you can see it everywhere. I mean, and there'll be even in between. There'll, there'll be, you know, you'll think there's two separate ones, but then there'll be another one in between it, just a little off shifted. And sometimes the more you look at it, the more clear it is. This is almost like a Neanderthal mouth, kind of like the the jutting, I don't know, big lips, ape-like, gorilla-like almost. face sideways mm, again I always go for the eyes and the nose, mouth. once I get the eyes it feels like everything else kind of fits in makes sense kind of a tall forehead here hair like I say you can see the almost even see shading like like the the light is coming in this direction right from top to bottom and and this is there's like a shadow there's like a shadow to this and then and then there's another way to look at this where you focus like you're looking long distance right now I, yeah I was focusing more close I can I can focus even closer probably get different types of things but now wait, wait now I'm like like looking far away off into the distance I'm imagining there's a far off distance and then you can see different things like uh, maybe dancing people here are clouds in a I don't know some kind of cannon shooting something uh, 
like a, almost like a weird light bulb with like pieces on it and then you look longer you look at you look at a different level you look like in between the, the very distant and the very close and this could be I guess I need to think about that I'm thinking like like an arch anyway that's not that's not as clear as, as the well I guess maybe this could be anyway you get the point you can think of anything you want you can see anything you want but but the the unique thing about hers is that she's showing these over over a period of time so I don't know that's the annotation I, I don't know I, I want to I guess I guess you I want to give you the idea of how I think how I how I kind of approach this because I approach it that there is no real limits and all the limits are what we accept as limits and that's why these people can like Michelle just call, call, just call them shiners I think that somehow that they're accessing their energy out beyond their body somehow they're literally like shining like their plasma their soul their energy can illuminate things and I'm using all these little words that that uh, I think have been that are not really correct like the word gay as compared to happy or compared to homosexual I think there's like perversions of all these words so it's hard to follow ideas but I think Michelle was photographing photographing in a way her thoughts and again if she believes that it's, it's contacting other entities then that's true too I, I, I'm not I, I cannot say that what is for her or what is not for her what's not true or what is true I can say for myself that I think that there is no limit as an energy as an energy being there is no limits to what is possible what we can feel what we can connect to what we are it's it's almost like literally like it's a cage the body like we can only see like a very limited frequencies like from our frequency range you know on light to down to zero because it's go not going any speed it's going very slow it's so but we cannot see anything higher so we literally just see like you know less than point zero zero five percent of what there is to see we can literally only see very very little so <clears throat> I think the shiners are able to connect to stronger to energy outside themselves I think the lower vibrations have a hard problem have a hard time doing that more hard more difficult time And I don't know. I don't know if it makes a difference or not. I think that. Uh, I think once the physical existence is over, we can really things are much more clear. It's just a hope, you know. It's a hope. Uh, but it makes sense that we'll be able to connect directly because we will realize there is no, there's no separation between anything. There's no space. There's no time. It's just a limitation that we think there is. I guess that's the best way I can leave it. Uh, makes it sound like I, I get something. I don't know. Uh, but I think whatever you want to believe, if you want to believe from a book and that's your way to understand reality, to recite verses in a holy text or, or maybe you just have thoughts, different thoughts, I mean, obviously... It's, I hope everyone has different thoughts, but I think that those are just as valid as mine. It's just that it's not my reality. It's not my choice. It's not my constraint. I 
I think I think maybe that would be the the major thing is that holds us back when we only vibrate at a very low speed. <clears throat> So, yeah, I think uh, most things that people think or understand are fallacies. Yeah. It's a strange predicament we find ourselves in. But nonetheless. <laughs> Joy is strength. A wise person said that recently. <laughs> 